Hi, this is Magic Mitch Arts. Um, I did an unboxing live of a HO, no, an N scale American 440 uh, locomotive, and it seemed to be locked up and not wanting to make it around the track. Um, or I should say, I didn't want to do anything. It was it was frozen. I'm like, great. I bought a piece of junk. Uh, it doesn't work. So. What did I do? Well, took a little bit of olive oil. <laughs> now, I, this isn't the train. The real train is on the track. But this is my other one. Anyways, I opened it up and went in here, right in here. There's a motor drive shaft that goes between the engine and the coal car. This is the motor that runs the train. The power goes from here and turns the drive shaft in here that spins these wheels to make it go. All right. I used this stupid... Well, first I tried doing this, using this to get in there and oil it, and that didn't work. So our caps single-use pop, pill popper thing <laughs> worked and I use extra virgin olive oil I know that's not right for a train but it works now it doesn't have very much power to Bachman it figures but it does go I'm gonna give you a little sample in case it dies on me but let's watch so you're going to have to turn the, vo the volume, the power, all the way up to get it to move. And i got to tap the track every once in a while. I don't know if it's because it's cold and the track is just not running right, but there it goes. I'll take it up a little faster. And there you go. This is the engine that did not run and still doesn't want to run. And it gets going over there kind of fast. And it gets here and it stops. But now it's working. Of course, I have the power up full blast. Once it gets worked in, I'm going to slow it down. And see if it will run around the track at medium speed. And it doesn't look like it. That's at 75% and it's not going. So we have to take it up a little faster. I'm probably going to take it in and get it oiled professionally the right way and clean the uh, contacts because I'm thinking this is why it's not working because I cleaned the track and it works oh stuck at small world come on there we go take it around the uh, diorama maybe no yeah too slow it won't go Bring it into the station and stop. Okay. He's a new driver. Let's see if it'll back up. Come on. Yeah, it backs up. That's good. So, I took a train that did not work. And made it work. Not bad, I guess. There was only one problem. You see this right here? There's a coupler somewhere on the track, and I gotta find it because one of the cars, uh, look, there's another one that fell off. One of the cars, coaches, has lost its coupler somewhere. It's not these. It's not the Lily Bell. So, it must be this one right here. Because this is the only other train I have, or coach I have, that was on the track. Uh-huh. There we go. So the coupler is somewhere on the track, and it's one of those magnetic ones. The knuckle coupler. Um, see, that's the thing. I need to switch that engine. That engine over to that kind of coupler because it has this kind on it the rapido i think it's called rapido i'm not sure how you say it it has that on the 
uh, coal car. I don't have enough cars running on those. These all have their knuckle couplers. I have to find that one because it's somewhere on my track. Shall we try to run it around one more time? Sure, let's give it a try. Board! Help if I turn the power on. This one runs smooth compared to my other one. Now that we've run it around, let's see if we can run it slower. Somewhere over there in that mess. Oh, there it is in Tomorrowland. Hey, look at that. It runs slower. Come out of the station. Now, oh, by the way, it's 70%. Let's take it down a little slower once it gets past the small world. Come on, you can make it. Come on. Be that little engine that can. No, 70% is where it has to be. Unless they're just showing off the Grand Canyon, maybe that's it. The primeval world. There you go. I liked it. I fixed it with olive oil. So, Magic Mitch Arts. And, oh, here's the top of uh, Splash Mountain. I somehow found the people had fallen behind the wall. So, they had a real fall on Splash Mountain. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. And I'm glad I got the train running. Now I have three engines that will run on the track. This noisy, loud one, because it has the wrong transmission in it. That was a 3D print. And this American one, the American 440. And this one's nice and smooth sounding. And this is a American 440 also, but it's got the diamond smokestack on it. And that one runs real well, and I painted this one up to look like which train? I can't read it. Looks like it says Lily Bell. So dirty, I don't know. But I did get a little sticker on the back. It's Disneyland Railroad on this one. So, there it is. I will post other videos in the corners here you can watch and please subscribe right down here or here wherever i put it okay thanks for watching and have a great day